the name Odontoclis resume its body features, it referred to the fact that only the plastron of the shell is developed and contrary to the modern turtles that have a horny beak without teeth in their mouth, it had teeth embedded in their upper and lower jaws. In a way, turtle evolution is an easy story to follow, the basic turtle body plan arose very early in the history of life and has persisted pretty much unchanged down to the present day. Before discussing the evolution of genuine turtles, it's important to say a few words about convergent evolution, the tendency of creatures that inhabit roughly the same ecosystems to develop roughly the same body plans. The poster genus for this group, Placodus, was an unremarkable looking creature that spent most of its time on land, but some of its marine relatives like Enidus and Sepoderma, looked uncannily like genuine turtles, with their stubby heads and legs, hard shells, and tough, sometimes toothless beaks. Placodents became later plesiosaurs and pliosaurs. They went extinct as a group about 200 million years ago. Unlike most placodents, Sepoderma had a carapace that was divided into two pieces, one on the shoulders and back, another on the rear end. Placoclis was one of the more turtle-like member, although its feet were not dedicated flippers and still retained toes suggesting that it may have occasionally ventured onto land. Proganoclis was once considered as the oldest known true turtle. Its overall appearance resembled modern turtles in many respects and it shared its environment with a variety of dinosaurs. It lacked the ability to pull its head into its shell, had a long neck, and had a long spike tail ending in a club. While this body form is similar to that of ankylosaurs, it resulted from another convergent evolution. Maiolania was a tropical giant tortoise and was hunted to extinction by the Lapita people about 3,000 years ago. The bones were not present in younger layers of the mound, suggesting the turtles disappeared within 300 years of first human contact. The ancestors of Puyintamese may have reached South America by dispersing across Paleocene coastlines or by riding currents across the Atlantic Ocean. The huge size of Stupendamese might be a response to the predatory threats living in South America which included giant crocodile and large pleurodiran turtles seem to have been very common in the river systems of South America during the Cenozoic. The appearance of the Matamata's shell resembles a piece of bark, and its head resembles fallen leaves. As it remains motionless in the water, its skin flaps enable it to blend into the surrounding vegetation until a fish comes close. The matter matter snaps its mouth shut, the water is slowly expelled, and the fish is swallowed whole. The matter matter cannot chew due to the way its mouth is constructed. The eastern long-necked turtle is carnivorous, eating a variety of animals. When it feels threatened, this turtle will emit an offensive smelling fluid from its musk glands. The most notable turtles of the Cretaceous period were a pair of marine giants, Archelon and Protostiga, both measuring about 3 meters long from head to tail and weighing about 2 tons. As you might expect, these giant turtles were equipped with broad, powerful front flippers, the better to propel their bulk through the water, their closest living relative is the much smaller leatherback. The Dermoclides are relatives of the family Chelonidae, which contains the other six extant sea turtle species. However, their sister taxon is the extinct family Protostigidae that included other species that did not have a hard carapace.
The skull of the Mesoderma piece is very well preserved but is missing most of the dermal roof bones through weathering. The feeding apparatus of Osipetulon, a bony pipette-like snout, is unique among tetrapods and shares unique convergences with both singnathid fishes and beaked whales. The leatherback has several characteristics that distinguish it from other sea turtles. Its most notable feature is the lack of a bony carapace. Instead of scutes, it has thick, leathery skin with embedded minuscule osteoderms. Green turtles are listed as an endangered species. Despite this, they are still killed for their meat and eggs. Their numbers are also reduced by boat propeller accidents, fishnet caused drowning, and the destruction of their nesting grounds by human encroachment. Loggerhead sea turtle is omnivorous, feeding mainly on bottom-dwelling invertebrates. Its large and powerful jaws serve as an effective tool for dismantling its prey. Trionychia are called soft shell because their carapaces lack horny scutes. The light and flexible shell of these turtles allows them to move more easily in open water, or in muddy lakes bottoms. Having a soft shell also allows them to move much faster on land than most turtles. These turtles have many characteristics pertaining to their aquatic lifestyle. Many must be submerged in order to swallow their food. The common snapping turtle is noted for its combative disposition when out of the water with its powerful beak-like jaws, and highly mobile head and neck. In water, they are likely to flee and hide themselves underwater in sediment. The alligator snapping turtle is given its common name because of its immensely powerful jaws and long, spring-like neck, as well as distinct ridges on its shell that are similar in appearance to the rough, ridged skin of an alligator. Differences exist in usage of the common terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin, depending on the variety of English being used, usage is inconsistent and contradictory. These terms are common names and do not reflect precise biological or taxonomic distinctions. The number of concentric rings on the carapace, much like the cross-section of a tree, can sometimes give a clue to how old the animal is, but, since the growth depends highly on the accessibility of food and water, a tortoise that has access to plenty of forage with no seasonal variation will have no noticeable rings. Moreover, some tortoises grow more than one ring per season, and in some others, due to wear, some rings are no longer visible. The brain of a tortoise is extremely small. Some of them do not have an area in the brain called the hippocampus which relates to emotion learning memory and spatial navigation. Tortoises generally have one of the longest lifespans of any animal, and some individuals are known to have lived longer than 150 years. Because of this, they symbolize longevity in some cultures, such as China. During the last 50,000 years, tortoises of the mainland of southern Asia like Megakli, America and Madagascar became extinct. Today, the Aldabra giant tortoise is listed as an animal that is vulnerable to extinction in the wild. A specimen named Edwaita may have been the longest living at an estimated 255 years. During their time on the island, the Galapagos tortoise, including the Pinta Island species, 
was observed many times and it was concluded that the tortoises rest about 16 hours a day.